Ladies and gentlemen, yes, another upload, but that's because there are more moves happening in Buffalo sports, namely the Buffalo Bills. The Bills and Brandon Bean are cooking today in light of some, well, reports that the Bills don't have much in cap space. Well, actually, we kind of knew that already. Well, this is these moves are only confirming how bad it truly is on one Bills drive. Brandon Bean has made a flurry of releases slash restructurings to make sure the Bills do have cap space for this upcoming offseason. Unfortunately, though, that means a lot of cornerstone players are leaving. They are gone. They are going to move on, and Bills Mafia are going to learn to deal with that. But before I get to all of the news, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe. Follow us on Instagram, join the Discord, follow us on TikTok, and of course, like and subscribe here. All of those links are down in the description below. Now, let's talk about the first big move that happened for the Bills today. They released longtime safety Jordan Poyer. He's been here since 2017. Him and Micah Hyde both came together as a package duo, and it appears that both are leaving as a package duo. Micah Hyde and Jordan Poyer, there were rumors last offseason that the both of them may retire, but they both came back for one more year, only for the same thing to happen again. Bills lost in the divisional round, and they appeared to be slower on the field at multiple to points during the season. It was clear that the Bills needed to get younger at the safety position. That's why last offseason, Taylor Rapp was brought in. Uh, by Brandon Bean from the Los Angeles Rams, and that's why this draft, it appears that the Bills with their 11 draft picks will use some of that to invest in the safety position. And, you know, that before, that was kind of a guess. You kind of assumed the Bills would be doing that. Now it appears that will definitely be the case for Brandon Bean, as Jordan Poyer and Mike Hyde both appear to be moving on. And I just want to say thank you. Thank you, Jordan Poyer. Thank you, Mike High. They took a chance on Buffalo when the Bills were still basically the Siberia of the NFL. They came here. They signed as a free agent, not knowing necessarily what to expect with this new culture thing under Sean McDermott, but they became captains. They were leaders on and off the field, and they led the Bills to not only breaking their drought runs, but making the playoffs in five of the last six seasons and helping the Bills become one of the best defensive teams in the NFL, even though their performances in the playoffs not necessarily translated to their regular season play, we still have to commend them for that and all of the passion they showed here when in Buffalo. Now, let's move on and talk about Saran Neal, a course special teamer. Bills typically utilized him as a gunner, and uh, he was very good with the Buffalo Bills, although special teams not quite as impactful as many people do, in fact, realize. Neil, I think the Bills are going to feel his presence gone. They are going to really notice him. He's like your eyebrows. You don't really notice Neil until he's not on the field, and there are times when he's been injured and the special teams have committed some serious blunders. And... This release makes me kind of nervous. He is a fan favorite. I really liked Neil. And again, like Poyer and Hyde, he came here. The Bills drafted him. And uh, yeah, I'm really sad to see him go. A lot of players are moving on today. And it sucks. He's another cornerstone guy. Poyer and Hyde on the defense. Saran Neil on the special teams. Jeez, a lot of stuff is happening. The Bills are, of course, going to save about $3 million in cap space. That was based off what Saran Neal was going to be owed next week on March 13th. Uh, so the Bills are going to save that amount of money. For Jordan Poyer, they're going to save about $4 million in cap space, I believe. So the Bills making some serious cap-saving efforts here before free agency and the beginning, the technical beginning of the new NFL season begins. But let's continue on now and talk about some more cap-saving moves made by GM Brandon Bean. And we continue on and talk about Rasul Douglas, who this, the Bills acquired at the trade deadline last season. They're going to restructure his contract. He's under contract for this final season, the 2024 season. Um, there are rumors that maybe the Bills would consider trading Douglas, but I'm glad they didn't. He was a phenomenal fit under Sean McDermott and this defense last season. He had a couple of huge interceptions, some big pass breakups. And with him and maybe Tredavious White, maybe. There have been some rumors the Bills may move on from White. But at least Rousseau Douglas will be on one side, manning one island. If the Bills could find another lockdown cornerback, that would be phenomenal. If Tredavious White is fully healthy, 
And the same goes for Rasul Douglas. The Bills have one of the best cornerback duos in the NFL, period. There's no debate about that. But uh, with this restructuring, Brandon Bean and the Bills will save about $2.5 million in cap space. But folks, we have talked about three moves that Brandon Bean has done. You might think that we're done, but no, we are not. Let's keep on talking now about the Bills' former starting center, Mitch Morris. And I say, I say former because now Mitch Morris has been released by the Buffalo Bills. Much like Rasul Douglas, there were rumors that maybe Morris would be gone. But unlike Douglas, Mitch Morris is going to get the axe. He is out the door. He's been here since 2019. He hasn't missed a single game as a member of the Buffalo Bills. And uh, he's been really good. Last season, he was a center in one of the best offensive lines in the NFL. So I'm really curious to see what Sean McDermott and the Bills do after this. Um, apparently they plan on moving Connor McGovern, our left guard, to the center position, and then have David Edwards, who just got an extension a couple of days ago. David Edwards is going to replace uh, Connor McGovern on that starting line, which, ooh, I don't know. That's very concerning for me. Not in Connor McGovern, but I don't know how I feel with David Edwards supposedly becoming a starting offensive lineman for the Buffalo Bills. That kind of nerve makes me a little nervous about how this O-line is going to do. I was hoping uh, for next season that the O-line would remain as rock solid as they were last season. I would hate to have to revert back to what we've seen in the past couple of seasons where Josh Allen is basically running for his life. Oh, we shall see. But it's never easy going transitioning from one center to another. I remember a long time ago when Eric Wood was released by the Bill or yeah, he suffered a season ending a career ending injury actually. And I remember how much turmoil that threw our offensive line into. So hopefully the same thing doesn't happen there. But let's talk about our final move here. And uh it's another biggie. Deontay Hardy, our former Punt slash kick returner, wide receiver kind of guy. Brandon Bean brought him in last offseason, and he had a very disappointing 2023 season with the Buffalo Bills. He most notably had a kick, a punt return for a touchdown against the Miami Dolphins in the final week of the regular season. But other than that, Hardy didn't do really much in Buffalo, and I'm not very surprised to see him go. The Bills will save about $4.3 million in cap, but they'll also take on about $4 million more in dead cap. So... That money cannot be used to get any other guys. But the moral of the story here today, folks, is that Brandon Bean, big baller Bean, making some big baller moves for the Buffalo Bills. And, uh, well, you know, I have mentioned five moves so far, but I doubt we are even close to being done with them. I expect to see more moves by Brandon Bean ahead of the new NFL season next week, March 13th, when free agency begins. So, anyways, folks, Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to hit that like button and subscribe. I was Don. Hey, not so fast, Don. Not so easy there, buddy. You can't just get away from all of this like that. No, 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 no. You see, I was going to release that video like that, just like that, you know? Thinking that my day was done, that I can sit back and now analyze the new Bills roster and where the holes are. No, Brandon Bean is not done. He is uh, most certainly not done. You can see the bottom of, at the bottom of the screen. Tredavious White is gone. I mentioned maybe if whether or not he could be gone, depending. Well, you know, I guess I spoke too soon because now he is. He's gone. The Bills are cutting Tredavious White. They are starting cornerback since they drafted him in 2017. It is truly an end of an era for the Buffalo Bills. Tredavious White is now gone. Micah Hyde is now gone. Jordan Poyer is gone. Uh, Mitch Morse is gone. <laughs> oh, boy. Big baller bean, buddy. Are we rebuilding or what? Are the Bills rebuilding? I, I Oh, I pray to God. Please, no. Please don't be rebuilding. And I hope that you are done making moves for the day. It's almost 5 o'clock, buddy. The work day is almost over. Please be done so that I, I can go sit back and prepare for the Sabres-Toronto game. Uh, yikes. Wow. Okay. A lot of moves are happening. I uh, Like the others, I'm really very sad that Tredavious White is going to be gone. Tredavious, I'm more sad about being gone, probably more so than the others, just because of how horrible his luck has been for the last two seasons now. He tore his ACL Thanksgiving 
uh, two seasons ago. And then last year in week four, he did the same, almost the same thing. Injured his, uh, was it his knee, other knee, I think? I don't know. But either way, suffered a season-ending injury against the Miami Dolphins in week four. We haven't seen him since, and I guess we will never see him again in a Bills uniform. A promising career derailed by leg injuries, by knee injuries, by ankle injuries. This one really hurts. This 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 one is this is a sucker. Yeah. So the say or the Bills will save about ten point two million dollars in cap. Uh, they will eat about six million in dead cap for this season. Four million next season. And um, yeah, that's where we are. I'm now kind of confused. I'm wondering now if the Buffalo Bills are actually rebuilding or retooling. I guess we'll see over the coming days. But anyways, now I think I'm done. I pray to be done now. 11 minutes in and I think I'm done. Brandon, Big Baller Bean, please also be done. I can't breathe. This is a very slow news day, I guess. Right, folks? Very slow. But I can't breathe. Let me stop and take a moment and reflect. This is all still processing, folks. But to summarize, Jordan Boyer gone. Mitch Morse gone. Deontay Hardy gone. Saran Neal gone. <clears throat> Marcella Douglas had his contract restructured. Jadavius White is also gone now. And I mentioned it earlier, we have extended David Edwards. And I just also saw this too. We have signed, re-signed Matt Hack. He's coming back. The Hack is back. Um, punter uh, for the Bills a couple seasons ago, Matt Hack was. And uh, yeah, he's back apparently too. So Brandon, please calm down, buddy. Enough. I know you wanted to remind us all that you are the general manager, but like, this is too much for one day. <laughs> but anyways, folks, I, now I'm done. Now I'm really done. Okay, bye-bye.